is a more of this is kind of gonna be attack of the backlog style hello no I don't need company up uh. wait 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 okay that guy was not him name right and I think I load up a okay this should be better Magic dude. My magical guy. So this is a uh, kind of a game that's kind of cursed, at least for me, because I every time I try to record this game, something always messes up. <laughs> Pisses me off. Cause I like this game. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer a lonely little me? Uh, I bought this for three, so. Ooh. Can I see? Suppose, this is supposed to be something about givers, like a jewelry or something. Um, of course, take it. I'm... I'm picking three. That was cliche and predictable, but you can say it any time, and I'll act like you were the first to own it. Listen, um, I want threes to cough the feud. Oh, did she now? I spend a few nights with Bertram, and all of a sudden he's the pox of Santa Monica. He pretty much has pox. Paranoia well, it looks like it. have been bedfellows for longer than I can remember. Indulge my curiosity. Uh, I don't really know. Oh, I wish I could do something about it, but Bertram won't believe it's off until he hears Therese say it's off. And as I told you, I'm really not sure what Therese is. However... What? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the map. For you, anything. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this map. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box with you. Buy yourself something velvet. Um. Alright. Yeah, alright, I'll go slash the paintings. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. We may amuse ourselves together, but I'm not sure it's possible. Oh well, it's a little different, but entirely possible. Come sit next to me on the bed. I'll show you. Ellipses. I can't see you. There we go.
touch it. Get for the door, fatty. Oh yeah, before I forget. Character stats. Well, my character looks like. Um, there we go. Let's get some blood. Depends how much. I don't get to do women often. Especially the ones as cute as you, sugar. Uh, this sounds perfect. Okay, let's go. If I head back up and why did you uh, show me your... Okay, never mind. Here. Keep you trying these dumpsters. We can get in between the dumpsters. I walk two feet. What's I kinda wish I could make my character like change how she looks cause um, you select a race and that basically you can change gender but you can't really change uh, what you, I'm, there's no option to change like what they look like besides those hey drunk I walk on on the sidewalk, asshole. Didn't you get the call? Uh, one arse is pissed off at the director. Well, pissed off the director, so I'm pulled the art from the show. Um, I'm the director's assistant. I'm dirt poor. That's great, but I should do. Um, I expected better file forty five B as well. See ya. Was that thief or something trying to break in? No, that was just him. I think. I do I go in this way? Cause I usually. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I usually just pick the lock. Just um, continue down the alley and just pick the lock. But I don't really have to since apparently just walk in through the front door. Yeah, cash box. So I gotta slash these four paintings. Um apparently I lost humanity for stealing. Um so unarmed with my fist is pretty much the um, highest damage potential for me. Because my character is back to just use her fist. Gotta use the knife for this first part. Um. Oh, exit. Um. Blood buff. So, I'm trying to remember the order because I tried recording this a few days ago.
Uh, Slay Zable. Oh yeah, I should show what happens if you get it wrong. Yeah, you get Bosch and uh, this happens. Oh, and I have to slash this again. Uh, cursed. Uh, meets. Spurs. I think they took some of my blood. Because I botched it. So, last time I tried to record this, I said this is a tough fight. It is, if you're not prepared for it. Uh, and uh, I end up um, killing the boss like super f easy. Um, this fight's like much easier with blood buff. I just mash and don't care about blocking. There, easy. Too bad to have crazy talk moment this time. Well, actually, I did at the beginning of the video. Um. What's button is the Z? Okay. Exit combat mode. <laughs> What's that smell? It's blood. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're aiming quite nicely, brothers. Hang on. You. What were you thinking? I just go for a stroll. How could you give her that item from the hotel? Do you know what she did with it? What? She threw it into the Pacific. Do you know what this means? It means that I can't get rid of the spirit now, which means that that property is useless to me. To make matters worse, someone's just gone and ruined my event at the gallery. That ship. Shut up! I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. Because of them, I'm in a worse position than I was before. The ocean house is worthless! So our business is forfeit. The feud is on! You're a rational professional. Well, I'm sure it's something we can uh, work out. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I went to meet them and explained that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile. And I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I'll go and then the feed's finally off. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Okay.
so come So I wonder if hang on. Yep, please show up. That's what he says I didn't want to suck his blood. The this guy's blood yet, yeah, I just wanna show up the cops. So since I was going to do this, um show off the cops, I said, well, I'll just suck his blood later. I think I messed up. I just picked the first option. I I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Yeah, I think it's a glitch with uh, showing his um, going all the way back to the full. Because it wasn't full when I started. And I hate the visual glitches of um, when it's spinning around and you see stuff you're not supposed to be seeing because the walls disappear. Okay, I still got the buff. Hello, hooker. Now let's go over to those phones where nothing bad will happen. Oh shit. Oh, oh. How lunch that one guy. Oh shit. Oh, you still fight? There we go. I, oh, I could talk to them and say, like, I'm called cops. Um, and then they just not f do that. Hello? No shit. Phone magically went on my hand. Uh, slow down. Alright, I'm coming over. Wait. Yeah. I'm my way. There's no need to try to pretend you're spinning up and what are you? Oh yeah, they're shooting. Move out of the way, fatty. There, Fatty. Oh, right, forgot. Can't do, can't heal in certain areas. Tainted by the 
mistake of my sister's schemes. Now, I'm going to make sure she never double crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always look out for you. I understand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me. You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Why are you both fighting? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she's still... Yeah, I definitely do. I no less. So despicable. So unclean. You want to talk, dear sister? Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear a father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. Both of you stop. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Just shut up. Just shut up! Stop her right now, both of you. Don't try and stop me. I've had to overlook her treachery, her seduction, relations with my enemies, and the consequences of it. But I won't endure her any longer. Endure me? Dear sister, you've done everything you could to smother me. You love to bury me in your closet, along with all your other skeletons. I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me, when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taking care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. You both want to continue to exist. You're about to live with each other. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuck and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Both of you been working against the other, together you'll be power. I don't think that's possible. How could I ever think to trust her again? Trust me? Who could trust you after what happened with Father Dearest? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. It's all in the past. Forget about it. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there and she saw me lying with him and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall... He died with a smile on his face. Now what happened to nature move on? Why? How will this time be any different? Cause I don't think you can live without better. I'd be better off without her. Have you been paying attention? Oh, yes, Therese. Without me, you'd be free to remake this city in your own image. It'd be the first beachfront morgue. I think I chose the wrong one. Then... I'm picking two, I guess? Therese doesn't like Okay. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction, which is something a pigtailed face painting harlot does not learn very well. You do have a way with words, sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? I mean, murderers are so respectful these days. I like how it keeps giving you the that uh, third option. <laughs> you just give up. More responsibility. 
that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. Jeanette stops with sabotages. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You do it because you're vindictive and jealous and you deserve it. Caught truce and run his place equally. There's no need to kill each other. If she would stop treating me like a child, if she would start behaving like a rational adult. You both <laughs> still gives you a kill option. You both must have gotten along at one point, one time. Yes, there was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. Father wouldn't allow us. He said we'd get hurt, so we stayed inside and imagined our own world. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happy times before we grew up. You don't want to kill each other, do you? I never do. No, I guess I don't. Jeanette, if I were to give offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you keep consorting the tongue? I'll stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while. When he can be of use. That's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica. But only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. We know who our enemies are. I agree. Give me the gun. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tom. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him to expect a visitor, and I'll ask him to be extra nice. Goodbye, you pair, pair of lunatics. <laughs> so mean. Santa Monica's regards to the prince. And if you're tongue tied about what happened tonight, or we'll have to kill you. Things said, Tortlet says, kill you. So let's go see Bertram. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd better find me, did you, sweetheart? Yeah, I was looking for you. Be tongue. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, but I know who you are. You do? News travels down to the end of great final like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between that high and nines Rodriguez through that juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. That's great. Um so you know I survived. I need to get in that warehouse for Mer uh, Mercurio. Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. The Sabat? The Sabat. She's your queen. I already know them. Like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. But uh, I don't expect to counter vampires, I mean, humans there. As far as I can tell. The humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. 
They're never working for vampires? Yeah. It's about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Can you get me in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office <laughs> the whole structure down. Um, give me a, a, my haven, and after I slip the day through, and then we'll go. Basically, we're going now. I don't see the point of saying, let me sleep on a haven. Hey, you got gun. Another one. I don't think there's anything in these rooms. And there might be. Nope. Wait. this way. I have to worry about this on this bomb. I think the next guy is on the left. Okay, it's n oh, it's these two. I don't think I can sneak past them. Magic box too, apparently, and apparently this is a visible wall. Oh, why do I have guns selected? Oh, that, that means combat area, I think. Oh, we got tire arm? Shit. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I can get in here, I think. Um. Uh, blah buff. There you go. Three A ammo. Uh, apparently that was it. I really don't like using guns in this game. Ooh.
Hopefully he doesn't turn around. See, I think there's two guys over there. I think they talk. No, oh, just tar on. No fall damage, I guess. Oh, shit. in there quit whining it was oh didn't forgot about that mechanic that one um no oh, I can't use it do I have any blood I don't have any blood. Hey, how big the cursor is. Oh, 
shit. Yeah, he has a shotgun. That's pretty bad for my top. See what I can do. Uh, items, my best bet is to go in there well and then with my fist. Okay. He's gonna kill me with the pistol. So that's where I placed the bomb. The guy with the shotgun should have been like here because the alert went off. Way of repeating itself, you know, show. Ah, shit, I could probably get in there. I can use blood buff. Yep, I... Ah, shit. Oh, shit. My way out. It's the, not the same way out. Oh, I'm going to die. No point. Yep, I'm dead. So this is the for Wait a second. Yeah, this is um
hate that it shows like the walls disappear like that. Just make it dark or something. Well, just very dark everywhere. There we go. Okay, that couldn't execute him. Oh, so this is what the door was. How... I wonder if I can execute him. Okay, I better run. Cause that shit shotgun. Okay, and for some reason I'm still crouching. Oh shit, I'm about dead. Oh no 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 no. Yep. I think it's gonna be it.